Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only Silo Man coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Over the next 17 minutes, I hope to take you through some of the work that we've been doing this past week. We're finishing up on the second coat of painting, both on the upper and lower level, and getting ready to start the trim. And some of these first photos that you'll be seeing, this one coming up right now, is the lower level. That's some of the area. We're just going ahead and painting in the inserts. We'll be pulling those out when we put in the custom shelving. But for right now, it just gives us something that makes it nice. As you can see, the spaghetti wiring, <laughs> it looks more than a mess than it truly is. We'll be putting in a 200 amp panel down there, 40, 40 circuits. And so anyway, we'll be starting that probably within the next few days. I was hoping to do it last week, but we just got bogged down with some other things we wanted to finish because we were coming off of what you're going to see right here is eight days worth of photos. This will be the second posting of the eight days. I have one more after this that probably won't be posted maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. As you can see, Manny's up on the ladder. He's, pa he's painting the upper level uh, excuse me the lower level ceiling he's painting some of the beams and if you remember from the prior videos it's because that we've got the different color and you can see there the difference that they gave us so we went ahead and used that as a first coat and we're just going back now and painting its true color and you can see where he's working on that very large beam I think that's a 24 inch I beam there and you can see the petition that we built and then there's Carrie down there. He's cutting in the trim that's surrounding the inserts, which will eventually hold the built-in shelves. You can see the 200 amp panel there to the right. And again, some of the Unistrut that was left. Uh, that was original Unistrut when the site was operational. I went ahead and left it just because it's so secure. And, you know, should we want to hang anything, for example, we can off of that Unistrut. And there's a little different angle. You can see where we, we brought out and, and built the box basically around the center column. And as it comes down, and then now we're up on the upper level. We're painting the doors. Uh, I got some really nice uh, six panel doors. So right there, uh, we've already, as you may have seen, we've given them the, the Kills oil base undercoating. And now we're coming back with the first uh, coat of color. You can see that to the right is the kitchen. Here was the pillar and uh, the center column and some of the areas that I was playing with, the different designs that I was looking at. Uh, we went ahead and just did away with it. We're gonna paint it one color, which is the lower color on that wall for the time being. Well, it gives us a little time to figure out what we'd like to do with it. We consider it the focal point of what we're doing. And Kerry that you see there is he's just simply giving a first coat over some of that, what we did. He's a site owner also, and you're going to be pretty excited when we start showing you the videos. Uh, I was just informed that a couple people shot some photographs uh, on uh, Facebook of his, of his site, Site 10 in Roswell. Well, his silo doors are open, and he nearly has a full, complete uh, silo crib. I think he's missing part of level one. But anyway, it's something to see. And so anyway, we're going to be bringing you along when we start the work on that, probably within the next few weeks, if not the, the next few months. Again, this is the utility room. You're looking on the back side. Did a nice job on the door. Once we're finished with this and it's trimmed out, we'll come back and put in the electrical outlets and then take and tie the circuits. As you can see, we're cutting around the top and, and for the column, and then we'll be giving it a coat. Right now, Manny's putting on the, the first coat of, of color um, there in the bathroom on the door there. You may notice that small brown stripe that goes along the wall. We were just testing uh, that we're going to be putting a chair rail in there in top of a, in, in top of a some crown molding and also some, some baseboard. And we were just looking at the different colors, and I think we pretty well narrowed that down. And you'll be seeing that uh, probably next week when we get started. Again, another far away look. You can see where we cut those areas in so you get a little more broad look at it. Carry again going around the top of the column. 
them. That's, the portion of that is called the mushroom. And that is 12 feet in diameter. The lower portion of the column itself is, is 4 feet. See the trim there. You can see the doorway to the utility tunnel, or to, excuse me, to the utility room. There's Manny doing the bathroom door. See the doorway in the very far background. That, that leads to the stairwell. Again, you can see some of the baseboard we were just throwing up there. We didn't nail that into place yet or make the, the miter cuts. And carry again going around finishing up on cutting it in. For the time being, I think we're, we're, we're starting to really like the black ceiling. I wasn't sure when we did it, but now I'm, it's starting to grow on me after eight days there. And for those of you unaware, this was, this is now, these, these, these pictures were taken after the 1st of February, 2020. And uh, today's date is February 9th. So, you get a basic idea when these were taken. And again, we were hoping we could get to the trim last week, but we just couldn't because we had too much painting still remaining. And there you have the first coat on the column. And you'll see it ties in with the lower coat there on the wall. So. In the background, just a little offset of the center will be the kitchen area. Uh, we've ordered the custom cabinets on it. So we'll, we're out about, at least from what they're telling me, 10 days. But I'm not too sure it's going to happen, so we're, we're looking at two to three weeks. Again, just that little kitchen area where we do, we just throw out a little dinette table and all have plastic chairs. We were pretty busy for the last eight days. I mean, I don't think any of us saw the surface. I'm trying to get this knocked out. And again, just a little different angle looking at the center bowl. And right now, Manny's beginning on the, the first color coat to the to the office slash bedroom. So he's already cut in the interior portion of it. What a fun project! And there's Carrie's cutting in for the second coat. And you can see what Manny's doing now. Then he'll be going over onto the louvers and. Like that. Then we've got one more door that leads to the kitchen and the jewelry set. Carrie still coming around the upper portion of the mushroom column. For you, for for those of you, I, I understand if you consider this all, you know, pretty uh, boring. Well, you know, I, I I've been private messaged uh, numerous times. They just like to see the breakdown of what we're doing at an Atlas F site. And I've done so many of these. It, it just you know, this one being a little bit different. This is not your, your typical. And when we do site 10, you're really going to see some major changes. So that's something you may want to stay tuned to. But again, some of that on site 10 on Facebook, I was informed got 75,000 shares. And I'm like, wow, now that's an accomplishment. There are many is finished the first coat on the, on the louver door. Those lead to the little storage areas, you may recall. And again, that's just our little kitchenette where we can prepare some pretty decent meals. So it's not like we're, we're 18 miles out of town. So it's not like we constantly have to go into Roswell and we try to always acquire everything we need ahead of time so that when we are on site, we are literally on site for whatever period of time we plan on being there to do the work. We're not constantly running into 
to town. I mean, there is the occasion where we'll miss something or break something we simply don't have redundancy to, and we'll have to make the effort to go into town, but normally that's not the case. Here's the other Louvredor he's going to be doing, and you may recall that goes to the area where we have the, the plumbing manifold and also the uh, on-demand electric uh, uh, water, hot water. And here you can, you can just, through the crack, make out a little of that manifold there with the plumbing. There's another shot of it. Really, you're looking here from, the, from basically the door that leads to the stairwell. And so we're, we're coming in. Now this wooden piece down here, that's all open underneath it. We just simply wanted a secure platform in which no one could fall. Um, We'll probably come back. It, originally, I was going to put in about four to five foot tall bookcases that surrounded the column. But the more and more we're thinking about this, that we're just we're not happy with that idea as much. Um, really, that column is the focal point of when you walk into the upper level. And so we're looking at some different ideas. Uh, here's Manny finishing the first coat of color on the doorway leading to the storage area. Um, which is also where we have that small kitchen at temporary until the, the, the main kitchen comes online in the next few weeks. And there's Carrie giving the second coat. And here you're looking from the open area, you're looking at bathroom on the right, office, bedroom on the left, the two utility rooms, the one on the right with the, the manifold that you see there. slightly different angle. And there carries nearly come all the way around the upper portion of the column. What a fun, fun project. And I didn't like the original color. We, we chose a little darker color in the, the utility room, so we changed it to a lighter. We're, and you may notice some of that. We're just going through cutting it in ready to get it ready to uh, go ahead and roll that color. And here Manny's applying the first coat on the outside of the door. And some of the area of the utility room that we finished. come together at that point. That's the, the insert for the storage area um, for the office slash bedroom. Could be a closet, I suppose. Uh, that's the area I sleep in. It plays a part of my dirty or my messy looking bed. These colors just did not, I'm just not pleased with them. Uh, it's nowhere near the true color of what painted that. And you can hear where Manny has started, so you see how we're lightening that room with this new color. And looking into the corner, That's an extra large, will be extra large shelving back there in that closet area or storage. There just, you can't get enough storage in the NSF, especially if you're in the launch control center. Now we decided to go ahead and paint the wood that was surrounding the opened area. And so Carrie's going around doing that. It's a little time consuming, but we sure do like the finished product. And he was getting bored with nothing to do, so he decided to jump in and do it, which we truly appreciate. You know, between that, as I've said before, he's really into ZZ Top, so he loves going around and, you know, playing his air guitar. And
Now we're back into the finished room. Be the office slash bedroom. That'll all be trimmed out when we trim it out. And again, that color really doesn't do it justice. This, this uh, I'm using a, uh, a GoPro Hero 7. And uh, I'm just sometimes it, it looks really good and other times it, it just doesn't. And right now is one of those that just, ah, uh, it doesn't look pretty at all. And there Manny is painting. We're going to repaint the color inside that little utility room that had the louver doors as you walk through from the stairwell. You can, in that last photograph, you can see where some of the original handrail was. Here's looking from the office into the storage slash closet area. And here Carrie is finishing up around the wood piece that surrounds the column. We're going to be painting the floor a, a dark, high-gloss uh, Rust-Oleum brown for the time being. We, we thought about maybe going in with tile, but we'll see how this works for a while. Here Manny is again painting the second coat. Really like that color. It makes the room so much larger. And here's a shot of carry just about finished up. And then all these tables and all the tools, racks will be brought in. We're putting them in the utility room, so it's all gonna kinda change. And you'll see that in the next video. And right here is again is the storage slash closet area for the um, office or bedroom. So it'll give you a little bit of the idea. Well, again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, put them in the comments. I'll get back to it. Again, don't don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thank you and have a great day.